persecution will come, death in every aspect, an extremely heavy picture of the situation, it seems that there is no way out, no way of salvation. But in this last message I read, it is written, my mother will triumph over all evil. Trevignano Romano, 2021. Soon the real persecution of Christians will begin, but do not fear because I will protect you. Anguera, Brazil, 2017. The time will come when many fervent in the faith will back down, but in the great persecution, my devotees will experience my love that is my maternal protection. Paratico, Apparitions in Brescia, 1999. Beloved children, do not fear the persecutions. Do not fear anyone. I will protect you. Carbonia, 2004. Mary, who is the merciful sign of the Heavenly Father, will know how to protect you from all earthly evil. Zaro, Naples, 2012. A war will frighten the world world, but you are under my protection. Do not be afraid. Our Lady will give her protection during all these wars and all these persecutions. But it's hard to imagine being protected with all these things that have to happen, but it has already happened in the past. In 1743, during the war of Austrian secession, the population of Genoa was destroyed, desperate, destined for massacre. Consequently, they began to invoke, to call, to pray Our Lady. And what happened? Our Lady appeared visible to all above the hill of Voltri, a hill near the city of Genoa. The terrified enemy army ran away from Genoa and ran away from the entire region of Liguria. So it is a concrete fact that happened. The population, in order to thank her, has built in her honor the sanctuary of Our Lady of Grace. But she has also intervened in the past against Islamic extremists. Let's see this message. Jacare, Apparitions of Brazil, 2016. I'm the terrible woman, like an army lined up in a battle. I'm terrible for the demons we cannot bear my presence, cannot bear to pronounce my name. Father Hamort had once told about a possessed boy. One day he was sitting at a table with, for lunch at home with his family. His dad, in his mind, that is without being heard by others, just in his mind, said Ave Maria. At such instant, the boy jumped up, he screamed, he said, enough. So the demons can't stand to hear the name of Mary. So make rosaries, organize rosaries, do it. They cannot bear my rosary when my children greet me 150 times by reciting the angelic greeting that God himself composed. I'm the terrible woman that wherever she appears destroys the forces of evil, the works of Satan, of sin, and makes the good deeds triumph by grace for the greater glory of the Lord. I'm the terrible woman, terrible for obstinate and ungodly sinners who insist on rebelling against the Lord, who insist on living by offending and crucifying my son, who insist on living by persecuting me and my visionaries, trying to destroy my works of salvation in the world. I'm terrible for these villains 
because I always destroy their perfidy, even though it often seems that they practically win. But I continue to be the terrible virgin, the same one who, by a severe gesture, made the Muslims in the Battle of Lepanto lose the war. It is so, at the end of this great war between me and my infernal enemy, these weak ones who ruin my plans, who defeat and persecute my works of salvation, all these weak ones will be once again be defeated by me, and this time the defeat will be final. On October 1571, the Battle of Lepanto took place, a naval battle between the Muslim fleet of the Ottoman Empire that was threatening to conquer the Christian Europe and the European fleet. The Ottoman army was made up of uh, cutthroats, headcutters like ISIS today, They had once uh, seized a Venetian senator, flayed him alive, took his skin, filled it with hay, and used this dummy as a, as a trophy, so an extremely cru cruel army. The Ottomans in the past had won all eight battles against the Christians, including two naval battles, one in 1499 against the Venetian fleet, the Battle of Zonchio, and one in 1500 at Lepanto, also against the Venetian fleet. But in 1571, the Pope asked to pray the rosary ask for the protection of the Madonna, and what happened? The European fleet, in the middle of the battle, while rowing, they continued to pray the rosary, and won the battle in a great manner, overwhelming, thanks to the events, to the atmospheric phenomena that occurred at the right time, which have benefited the Christians So, when the evil is cruel, perverted, uncontrollable, Our Lady also intervenes in a severe mode. The three fountains roam. From the eastern side, a strong people but far from God will launch a tremendous attack and break the holiest and most sacred things when it will be given permission to them to do so. It is the Father who allows evil to act, and God will not allow evil to strike and destroy everything and everyone. Carbonia, August 2020. Whoever will try, whoever will attempt, whoever will try to temper this place that he will be crushed by the foot of Mary. No one will go against God, no one, because evil has already lost his battle. At the mere thought of taking such a step, then tears will happen. Monfenera, Apparitions in Veneto 2015. No one dare to touch this land, never, even with thought because it belongs to the kingdom of God, the Father Almighty. No one arrogates himself master of this place, because the only master is God, the Father Almighty. So blessed are you who plow this land, raising your eyes to heaven, you see a strip of paradise. There will be shelters that are also places of operations. There will be protective places. The people who will try to temper and destroy these places will have serious problems. Let's give you some examples. At the Turzovka apparitions, 
Slovakia, two people in this place were playing a very bad prank. They had cut all around the trunk of a pine tree, just around it, to make the tree fall on the people who were going there to pray. So a joke that could cost someone their life. And what happens? On the same day that the prank was put in place, one of the two men has died. He got run over by a tractor. The same week, also the second man died too. He was in a tavern. He was teasing the visionary. In Turzovka, many pilgrims went. There were many altars. And one day a woman goes to this place and burns two of these altars. Within two months, the woman dies. Another man in Turzovka had burned another altar. And what happens? In a broad daylight, he was struck by a lightning while he was coming down from the mountain of these apparitions. Another gentleman went to the visionary to make fun of him and snickering he told him that you are on the way to madness. Shortly after, he became mad. He began to bleed uh, like a ram, and this is a concrete fact, a real one. It actually happened. In fact, they took him to a clinic for dementia. After a while, he stopped bleeding, but he died sick, and he has not been able to recover the ability to understand and to decide. So the advice I give you to all the people who attack these apparitions to the people who say, oh, well, these apparitions do not convince me. These apparitions are the work of Satan. Be careful. Stop it. Speak only of the apparitions that convince you. Then stop there. This is an advice that I give to everyone. Then, of course, do as you wish. You are free.